When talking about camera and video stream distribution, a common desire is the ability to output QSIS network camera streams through a video endpoint's HDMI output. In QSIS Designer software version 9.5 or higher, this can be accomplished using the MediaCast pin on the video endpoint's router component. This MediaCast pin is a matching connection for your QSIS network cameras, as well as the MediaCast router component that you'd normally use to route your cameras meaning you can toggle any number of cameras to your HDMI output. Let me show you a quick use case. Let's say you have a large all-hands space with multiple QSIS PTZ cameras that are intended to broadcast keynote addresses to remote callers over a regular UC platform like Microsoft Teams rooms, Zoom rooms, or Google Meet. But you also want to send those signals straight to the large projector for the in-room participants to see and to a confidence monitor for the presenter. In the software, our cameras are connected to our core's USB video bridge through the MediaCast router, which allows you to toggle between your camera sources to send to your conferencing application. And over here, we have our HDMI video distribution to get our PC laptop content onto that big projector. The PC is connected to the HDMI 1 input on the NV-Series encoder, which sends its AV stream across the network to the NV-Series decoder, whose HDMI 1 output is connected to the projector. Prior to designer version 9.5, there was no way to share these types of video together, but by using the MediaCast pin on the decoder, you can send camera streams directly to the NV device allowing the user to toggle between HDMI content and the desired camera stream, like this one, or the other one that we've got here in the studio. Hey guys. And this doesn't stop with just the decoder. You can take that same camera feed and send it to the encoder too, which also has a MediaCast input pin. This allows a presenter to decide if they want to use their confidence monitor as a vanity screen. Be aware that camera streams are only available to HDMI output 1. It's also important to note that as of version 9.5, the inverse of this streaming feature does not apply. You can't send an HDMI source to the USB video bridge. That's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.